All right, guys, Good old Boy 32 here checking out. So what we're looking at is a, kind of an evolution, and I wanted to share this with you because this is this is really important to me. When I first started getting into pistols and firearms, of course, everybody likes their 1911 stuff. And then uh, I think one of the very first kind of 1911 frame style things that I, and it, don't worry, ZZ's here for a reason. It's not a 1911 or 2011 for that matter. When I first got into it, I think the very first firearm I ever got it was in the, the 2011 style was this guy right here this is the uh the Rock Island Army TAC Ultra FSHC whole lot and 45 ACP and I, I tell you I love this gun this is a lot of fun it's a lot of gun for the money I think uh retail this thing was like 700 bucks I think I, out the door I, I paid like 600 you can get them all over the place but one of the cool things about this guy is you don't you can shoot this with some supers and you don't have to worry about it and uh it's just an overall good gun. I mean, a decent trigger pull on it. But this was my, I didn't even know that was a 2011 when I first got it, or 2011 style frame with the double stack. I didn't even know what a 2011 was. Secondly, and I got this from the arms room from my good friend Matt over there, and Matt, since then, he shut it down. He went on a tour of Alaska in a motorhome. <laughs> God, what a great adventure. I picked this up. Actually, this is a, uh, a Springfield B16 long slide. And uh, I need to really take this thing down and uh, take good, better care of it. But as you can see right there, it is a five or six inch barrel. It has eight ports on either side of it here. And I, I, this thing's a tack driver. It's an awesome pistol for sure into this thing. So then I got into uh, shooting competition. Uh, I, at first I started shooting with a, uh, a uh, SIG 226 uh, uh, TAC, TAC Ops. And that was a, that's a great gun, but uh, everybody was shooting with the CZs, and everybody got on a CZ kick. So I, I started shooting with this guy right here. This is my uh, Shadow 2, and man, we, we've had a lot of fun together. This is a great firearm. It's had, held up. In, in that time frame, uh, we met, um, well, Rick. Is your six covered is the one that got us into this uh, three gun event, and then uh, when uh, Ray uh, X Ring, he shot with a 2011. He always shot with the Infinity. So did uh, Rick, and that was the first time I ever saw an Infinity. That was absolutely uh, unbelievable. SVI Strayer Void Infinity. Bryce and Allen brought to the table. He brought his uh, uh, what do you call that thing? The Atlas Titan, and then. I really liked the way that thing shot. It looked good. And then my good friend, Rob Pops Quest, went off on the deep end and started doing competition shooting everywhere. Uh, also, hey, listen, Foo Master Chu is a friend of mine. He just picked up his first 2011, or I think it's his first 2011, but uh, he got the uh, Combat Master from Terran Tactical. And congratulations to him. So what I'm trying to convey to you guys, and you probably know where I'm going with this video. Let's push these guys out of the way. Is this guy right here. And this, I, I made a promise to myself that I was going to set money aside. I was not going to spend money. I guess uh, my acquaintances and the people that I work with and do business with, all with the, through the YouTube channel, uh, Ethan Manning had this thing sitting there, and he gave me one hell of a deal, uh, kind of a sponsorship type thing. So it's pretty neat. But I, I still had to come out come out of pocket for with a bunch of money on this thing. But again, back to my friend. Rob Pops Quest. I made a promise to him that before the end of 2019, I was going to have myself a 2011. And this guy right here, I called Ethan up and I said, Ethan, I want a 2011. And I'm worried, actually, yeah, man, because of all the stupid things that are going on about the magazine ban, uh, I was worried. And that's one of the reasons why I kicked it in. I said, let's go ahead and, and, and seal the deal and do this. And he gave me one amazing price on this guy. So that is the only reason that you're sitting here looking at this. So what I want to do real quickly, just give you, there's, there's the train, give you a real quick run around on this guy. This is like a little bit of a special deal uh, as far as Titans, uh, Atlas Titan goes, so Atlas Gunworks, right there it is, and uh, North Ferrisburg, Vermont. And uh, I want to give you a real quick run around on what this guy looks like, and I'll bring the camera in so you can see. But I'm very excited about it. I've, I've de I'm in a load development right now. I've put together uh, three different loads using 124 grain. We'll probably move on to the uh, 147 grain after that. We're just shooting extreme bullets for right now. And uh, let's see how accurate it is with those. But I did have an opportunity to shoot these one of these in the past, and I've actually shot Pops' Nemesis. 
That's an amazing gun. I really wasn't prepared to put that kind of money into a competition firearm, but for what I was able to get this thing, I got a hell of a deal. So real quickly, let's just go into the details and why why would uh, why would you spend the money on something like this? Other than it's just absolutely a beautiful firearm, but why would you? And I'll, I'll go over those things. But uh, in any case, here we go. Let's get started. All right, so Atlas Titan 2011. First of all, this guy right here holds 23 rounds. Uh, and that's one of the problems with a 2011. You have to have these big, specially made mags. This one's an STI mag. Um, it fits right up in there. But the you, each one has to be tuned. And unfortunately, this guy came with one magazine. We're kind of working on getting some more mags. Uh, these are retail for right, a little over $130 a piece. Yeah, getting the gun's only one part. The rest of it, guess what? It's up to you. All right, so yeah, <laughs> magazines are not going to be uh, cheap, but uh, there are some alternatives out there. But there's a lot of unique methods of tuning these guys, and we'll go through that later on as the mags come in. Okay, so about the pistol itself, one of the, the, the deals about Atlas is that he has milled this guy out, the slide, the spring combination, the frame, the grip, all that weight is measured out to where it literally, what happens is when you fire it, it comes back, bam, to zero, pop, 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 pop. And literally with the Nemesis, I double tapped at 10 yards or seven yards within one inch. I'm talking pop, pop. It was unreal. And we're going to see with the different loads that we develop. And there's always a combination. I just tell everybody that just because you have a great rifle or a competition gun it doesn't, doesn't mean a whole lot until you test it with various numbers of, of rounds out there. And it really finds the perfect round that suits the rifle as it, as it, as it relates to harmonics and things like that. Okay, so anyway, moving forward. Okay, did I pick the gold stuff no i didn't but the pistol that he had available that was what was on it and frankly i don't care i made a joke that i was going to take some rust-oleum to it and people were like Ugh! okay so anyway uh aluminum mag well right here this is the phoenix trinity grips these things uh, i know you probably guys if you're looking at this you've probably seen these in the past these are dna collectors like from i'll oh, get out let me see if i can get that thing to focus in but look around that. Now, I'll tell you what, on this particular video, I will be doing a slideshow at the end with some badass tunes, just showing you the cool details. Um, I'm going to just say that this is titanium nitride. Uh, I don't know about the aluminum trigger right there, but it is absolutely awesome, the safety selector. I will tell you this, after handling it a little bit, my only complaint is that right there. Okay, so you can see the difference where the safety selector on the the uh, CZ, there's it doesn't come all the way back. This guy does. Now, is that a problem? It's not my only complaint about this pistol. Is that guy right there? But when learning how to shoot, you're going to rest your thumb on top of the safety like that. As you can see, back and forth. How nice that is. Look at that. Skeletonized hammer on the top as well as on the side. I'll go ahead and release that. Pinned uh, grip safety. That's one of the things in a competition trigger. Comp uh, pinned tri grip safety is uh, ideal. Uh, I know I've seen a lot of STIs out there. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that the Combat Master, that's not pinned. But it, it is actually a functioning, but it you can feel it move. But it's been pinned, so the their only safety you have is that thumb safety. Bring it out, and you're done. We'll test the trigger out. Extended safety, this thing will be receiving the X-Ring uh, uh, mag <laughs> release right there. This is a large grip, so bringing it out, feeding, bringing it in. That kind of thing. It is nice, actually, with this extended mag release on this guy. Uh, you get so used to it, and it's going to be interesting to see the transition. And with mag, mag changeouts, well, this guy have never been 
a problem for me. So it'll, it'll, it'll be unusual to see what's going on. Well, not unusual, but it'll be interesting to see. The barrel coating, well, the uh, slide release. Look at that barrel coating right there. That's absolutely amazing. Now, as you can see, the slide cuts right there, just unreal. I, I, I'm beside myself, and I'm proud of myself that I actually stopped buying stuff long enough. It's kind of like one of those things, eh, I want to suppress it really bad, but do, I'm impatient to where I just can't stand to put the money down on one and wait a year. That's kind of how this was, and that's why I went ahead and just bit the bullet and got it. As you can see right there, big old bushingless barrel. Bring that down. You can see that thing. Mm -mm -mm. So let's do this real quickly. We'll go ahead and take it apart. I'm going to show you the internal workings of the hidden mechanism, and then we'll go from there. You can see the big magwell on the inside, Atlas. Isn't that beautiful? And I know I'm going to be flashy as hell, but the cool thing is, is I've got, I'm running a titanium nitride barrel, uh, not barrel, but the bolt carry group and the American gold trigger on my three gun rifle. So that's going to look really, really cool. Uh, to take this thing apart, I uh, actually have found that the Magpul, this guy right here, works really well at taking out the slide catch and release course on this guy right here it's uh, set up to where it doesn't release now it's interesting uh, one of my good friends balding fabulous balding curious is the name of his channel you guys please do me a favor I'm gonna put a link to a bunch of these guys down there that have been instrumental in my decision making to put put this thing together and I'm actually doing this video in a nice relaxing uh, tone because I'm just still I'm, I'm loving this thing but to take it apart um, you just slide the slide off of it. Now, a lot of 2011s have a little notch down in here. You take a paper clip. This guy has got like a, a captured spring. So let me show you. And I didn't know this until I went and looked at Ethan Manning's video, but you take the spring up and it's got this little guy right here. I'm going to put it down here so in case you don't come out. And you just poke that up and you let that sit and it locks that thing forward. And what it does, it locks the spring. So it's kind of a captured spring system. Really, really cool. Go ahead and you roll your roll cam forward and you just take the barrel out the front. Disassembly on a 2011 has never been easier. That's pretty sick. So anyway, let's take a look at the barrel. This is a KKM barrel. Man, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those round edges on that guy. Unbelievable. 9 by 19. So you can see where when they did the uh, titanium nitride that was up like that. The cam pin. That's pretty solid. Cam, I don't know what the hell you call that thing. Well, anyway, beautiful bull barrel. The recess right there. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, slide. Check out that slide. Unreal firing pin. Got the extractor. I wouldn't know how to do it. Well, actually, I can take one of these things apart. I, I have the knowledge, the wherewithal. The rear sights say Atlas on them. As you can see right here. Serrated on the back. You got a uh, fiber optic front sight. Uh, the serration cuts are absolutely unbelievable. Look at that. All right, taking a look at the interiors. It's the same as a 2011 or a 1911. It's a full length front run on this. I mean, this guy's got the same thing, except you do have a bushing on there. Look at the differences in the barrel size, though. That's a big difference. Of course, there's a couple thousand dollars in difference between the two. But guys, I'm gonna tell you something. If you were going to be serious about shooting in competition level, uh, then yeah, this is probably something that you would want to look at down the road. I am I deserving, or do I? Sh you know, here, here's a cut, another thing, and it's like I love looking at guns and having a little chats with you guys. But I look at it like this: Will I ever shoot 
as good as this gun is capable of going. No. I was watching... Anyway, I was watching one of the guys on uh, on Instagram. He's got a YouTube channel, too. I'll put the link down below. And if I remember, I'll remember and put it right here. Okay? Uh, right there. Uh, and these guys are dedicated to what they do. They shoot. I am a... I'm a social shooter. I don't necessarily think that I will ever, ever shoot as good as this gun will shoot. I can shoot as good as a lot of people. But you've got people like Pops Quest out there. You've got uh, John Eden, a friend of uh, Pops Quest. Those guys and uh, Bald and Curious, they take their craft seriously. And, uh, you know, Bryson Allen's trying to become a competitor, a real serious competitor, pro competitor, uh, X-Ring. Those guys, they take the time out every single day to practice. Is that something that I'm probably going to do? Probably not. But I want to fit the part. I want to look the part. <laughs> and I want to shoot the part. Okay, so with the weight of this firearm, Fully loaded, empty, not fu fully loaded, but empty. Do a comparison between this real quickly and the um, Shadow 2. Three pounds, 5.3 ounces. Two pounds, 11.9 ounces. A considerable amount of difference there. The trigger pull. Let's do this. Right in the middle, one pound, 6.9 ounces. One more time. One pound, 8.9 ounces. Now watch this. Here's the return or the reset. That's it. And guys, these guns are built like tanks, but that return and reset, that trigger, the way it looks, I love that trigger shoe. I have no desire to ever change that out. So anyway, that's it. The introduction to the Atlas Titan, the gun of my dreams. Absolutely. Uh, was it worth it? In my book, I've been saving for it. I've been dreaming about it. So yeah, it is. So I congratulate... <laughs> I congratulate all the people who have been out there in the world saving for their pistol of their dreams. Uh, there are different levels. Everything's relative. My dream was to have a competition level style pistol. It'll probably be one of the last pistols I buy. Let me know what your thoughts are, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the the uh, slideshow. Enjoy the music. And uh, this is this is for you guys, man. This is fun. It's Code Boy 32. Hey, man. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Look at that beast, man. Hmm. Absolutely.